Guys, welcome back to my channel. We are at Overland Expo East and I'm with the crew and we're gonna give you a tour of this event. Tristan. You don't mind getting recorded, right? Do no, you? I don't okay, mind. Okay, I'm Jay. Okay. I have a pretty fairly new channel called Finding Jay. Okay. And if you don't mind, uh, I'll get you in there. Is that all right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. You want to tell me a little bit about your setup? Yeah. So this uh, this is our Vega um, 2.0. Um, it is a fully composite fiberglass trailer. It has the Truma Combi built into it, which is a water heater and a furnace. Um, full red arc electronics. Got our galley here. Um, we leave our stove and our sink out the side here. Uh, that way, you have your whole countertop here free from your stove and your sink, and it doesn't make a big mess right up inside your galley. And it leaves this whole area free for prep, meal prep. Stainless steel, obviously. Yep, stainless easier. steel countertop. Yeah. Got our water fill up behind here. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah. That's Hidden. Got our pantry drawer on this side then. That's that's nice. Interior is a full queen size bed. Whoops, the side's locked. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the other side was open. I don't have a key. I guess. How long? How long did it take you to build this? Oh, we're building about one a week now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So these are for sale. Yeah, we're a manufacturer. Okay, I got yeah. you. Sad. This I thought this was a private. No. no okay. No, we're a manufacturer. So what's something like this go for? Uh, this one, the way it's outfitted is about 39,000. That's not bad. Yeah, full queen size bed. Um, cabinetry inside. Got a door that's, on each oh, side. It's got, a, it's got a skylight. Yeah, that's nice. Max air fan. Um, we can do, it has a furnace built into it. It also has, uh, you can do a, a air conditioner. Pipe it right in the side here. Yeah. That's something I was asking about because uh, I run the holes to my setup. Oh, yeah. And I was like, man, it'd be nice if they, someone would come up with something where you just connect the holes sure. directly yep. in. So Yeah, we, we do this option. Like, do you have a zero breeze or a, um, what do you have? I have a, I have a uh, eco. Oh, eco flow? Flow, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we use the, we use the zero breeze and you just set it out here and pipe it in. Yeah, or, I think it's the um, same dimensional. Uh, fitting yeah, giant? it's a little smaller than. Is it? Yeah, well, okay. no, it's probably the same dimensional fitting. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the zero braids a little smaller for air conditioner. Than the, yeah, the setup is, yeah, but the, the fitting should be the same, yeah, right? I think so, so. Yeah. Any, yeah, that's nice. So, kind of keep it universal so that anybody with whatever they use can plug it yeah. right in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, uh, full rock sliders along here. Um, these are heavy duty rock sliders. You can pretty much bounce them off. And that's that's rock. that's a line. That's a uh, like a rhino liner. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's what we do on our entire exterior. It's totally 100% waterproof. Before we do anything with that, it's a fiberglass shell. So then we spray the spray the whole thing with rhino yeah. liner just for um, off road. It's really good. It don't get pin stripes or and the, like and that. the awning is this Overland Vehicle Systems. It is. Yep. I know a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff, man. For sure. And, and your, your your name again? My name is Tristan. Tristan from uh, Cedar Ridge. Cedar Campers. Ridge. Okay. Thanks, yeah. man. Thanks for, for the sure. walk around. I'm sorry. You are. Rescapod. I'm Jay from Finding Jay. Pretty new channel, but growing quickly. Cool. Okay. Well, Jay, uh, this is the Tapo 2 Voyager. This is uh, uh, one of our two models we have here. The one behind you uh, is a, a one we're releasing today, actually, called the Tapo 2 Nomad. This is more of your base price. A uh, little paired back option uh, with more of the essentials. So this one has uh, a lot of storage. The, the kind of key features here are that it's built on our own suspension, uh, really lightweight chassis. Uh, the body itself is a single piece of structural molded fiberglass. Uh, so this is going to be a really great off-road camper with all the essentials you need to get to the grid. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, I see that it has independent suspension already. It does. It does. And, this uh, is a coilover suspension design that we uh, built in-house uh, and put on every trailer for the last few years. So. Lots of road miles on this. Is this uh, all fiberglass built and 
Yep. Uh, so the difference with this body is that this is a truly structural fiberglass body. Uh, the way we design this, I can show you a little sample. So the way we design this, you have your traditional uh, piece of flexible fiberglass here. This is a great material. Uh, but it is not a structural material. So you would actually need to kind of layer this as a shell on top of an internal skeleton. Whereas the way we design it is we have a layup process where we layer the fiberglass first, then this internal PET core, more fiberglass on top of it, super lightweight, incredibly uh, rigid uh, and insulated. So this is how we build the entire body. Uh, it is a single piece, tip to tail. Uh, so there's a mold for this. There's a huge mold for yeah. this. Five pieces that come together. Uh, it's about 20 by 20 and uh, pops out about 20 of these a month that we're making right now. So okay. How many layers goes into this uh, before the mold is is finished? How many layers of fiberglass? Right, because I actually worked in a boating company where they had the giant molds and we would spray on the fiberglass and roll them. Yep. Is that the same procedure, same process? So there's three kind of uh, methods or three three ways of, of laying up fiberglass. One is just to use fiberglass sheet. One is to uh, do what's called chop and spray, which is what you just talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we use though is a fiberglass mat. So that's actually laid in in large sheets. The piece the core is kind of laid in there and then it's a vacuum infusion process. Vacuum, so there's a okay. bag that goes around the whole thing, okay. resin's injected and that's cured overnight. Nice. Um, so that's that's part of what makes it much more structural. Um, a lot of chop and spray fiberglass is going to be more brittle, especially if you take that off-road, the vibration and things uh, for off-road travel is really going to uh, not stand up nearly as well uh, as something like this, which okay. is that fiberglass mat. And uh, this is obviously uh, very well insulated and, and uh, you're not gonna have leaves with fiberglass so that's another plus right yeah absolutely um, so not only do we get uh, the, the benefits of having one seam but with the process we use we have on days like today you can see we have these molded gutters as well so uh, if water does get behind the door behind the gasket you have all these molded gutters around both doors the galley and the tongue box where it's pitched and that water is just going to be right. managed and out the bottom, right? Yeah. We're not I mean, to and you guys didn't, you guys, you know, you didn't cut no corners here. This is at least an inch, inch and a quarter deep, right? It is. So this, this is a good example of the overall structure. Uh, so we have about a quarter inch here of, of really rigid, I mean this door is super, super stiff, uh, rigid fiberglass and then this is the thickness of that core. So we have an inch wow. of core and then a quarter inch of that fiberglass. Nice. So, Mind if I look inside? Yeah, please. So you do. got you got access to your front storage over there. I see that already. Get this out of your way for you. So got it. So is that two and a half inch memory foam in there, or? No, that's six inch memory foam. Is it? Oh, it sure is. The blanket kind of kind of disguised it. Oh, I see, and it goes in. It goes in. So we got this little platform here just to make it really comfortable for when you sit on it. Yeah. You don't want that pinching your legs at all. So there's a whole six inches down here. This is a true queen size bed. Uh, one of the nice things about the fiberglass method, again, just to go back to this, we're not limited by any material dimension. So this is a full six feet wide. What that allows us is not only a true queen size bed, so you can kind of change this bed around to anyone that you want, but it also gives you this extra six inches of space here. Uh, with this model, um, this is just extra storage space. You got cup holders up here, a little tray. You got a wireless charger over on that side if you want to peek in there. Just space to kind of shake things up when you get into bed, which is really, really nice to have in small campers like this. That's a wireless charger? It is. Yeah. That's pretty nice. I like that. You got access to your front storage. You got some cubbies right here in the rear. Now, can I access the back through those um, doors there? The little cubbies. So we do not have pass-through. One of the things that we've really put our, our kind of... Uh, mark on these trailers is we want to have designated storage for each area, right? So right. in the front here, <clears throat> we got plenty of tongue storage. This is all your outside storage, right? Uh, in here, we got a luggable loo, we got a little step ladder. Okay, so it's not um, the access on the inside, it's not access to this storage, it's just more storage on the inside. Separate bedding got it. Uh, storage inside. So you have outdoor storage here, bedding storage inside, your clothing storage right in front of you. You have some um, light so that way, if it's dark out, you don't do, have to have do, a yeah, a little light. Right Headlamp, there. yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> assisted shocks, are they assisted or the shocks? The shocks, 
Oh, they, for this, yeah. yeah, you got gas struts here. Yeah. Yeah, so that just opens right up. Yeah, I like that. So again, you got your gasket and your uh, your molded gutter on, on every opening here. So is the is the trailer UV protected? Does it have a coating for UV protection on, on the fiberglass? Uh, the, the, the paint itself is a polyurea based paint. Uh, so that's kind of polyurea is like your bed liner material. Right. So we lay it on with the base coat and then a drop coat. Uh, it does have um, uh, a five-year warranty on that, so it is UV protected there as well. Meant for outdoors, meant yeah. to really, you know, take more of a beating. Uh, it's got the on skylight the as well. The um, front skylight is great. It's two and a half by five feet. This is a molded um, window, stargazer window that we get uh, made specifically for us. It's got a huge screen that goes across it as well because you can vent that. Uh, and then we have blackout covers um, that I can actually show you on this trailer. Again, this is like this is our base model. This one uh, here is kind of entry level. This one has all the bells and whistles over here. Well, so while we go over there, what does this retail for? Uh, this one starts at thirty three thousand nine ninety. Okay, that's not bad. Not for something nice. like this, yeah. yeah uh, and so, what do we got over there? You want to show me? Yeah. So this that's one. It. This is, one got uh, mosquito screen on the door and everything. It is. We got. So we got a few different things over here. Uh, this one does have uh, our screens. These are no CM screens, so that mesh is, is really durable as well as pretty fine mesh there. And you can almost see it. Like I was standing back here, I was like, wow, that, that's, and when you feel it, it's, you can definitely feel the difference. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. So that rolls down. You just have magnets along the side here and then a little metal bar uh, so that you can kind of either walk through or you can roll up to get out of the way. Yeah. Uh, one of the nice things about this core and the way that we build this is we can uh, kind of impregnate this with whatever we want. So in this door, we got magnets in here, so this thing just pops right oh, off. Wow. Uh, these are fully blackout insulated windows, and then when you're ready, those just go right back on. Do these generally come with the uh, with the vents, the uh, or these? Uh, what do they call it again? The vents, the yeah, you got a max air fan. Max air fan. So this one's a four-speed exhaust fan. Yeah. Uh, this one again, kind of being that top tier of everything. This comes with a Dometic RTX 1000. That's what I was asking. Uh, so yeah. That's your AC unit. It takes that place right on top of there. Yeah. Uh, you can see this one has a, a Thule roof rack system. Uh, comes with the Rome awning on the other side. We got the Rome 180 awning, which is a really great uh, new addition to their lineup this year. And then iCamper makes a great. Uh, king size eye camp uh, or sky camp 3.0 up top so I'm assuming we can go on your website and build these things up yeah yeah okay. we, uh, we have a really great builder where you actually go on you can see uh, the color ways that you choose so you can change around the colors you can add on everything uh, immediately see uh, how much your, your trailer costs you can immediately apply for pre-approval for financing nice um, and then you can submit a quote directly from there so you can talk to us within five minutes about uh, next steps on your build. And, uh, what website uh, can we go on to find these things? Yeah, uh, so it's escapod.us. Escapod.us. Yeah. Okay. Um, the difference between these two, we haven't really talked about the galleys at all. This one is a little bit, again, more kind of pared back in your galley setup. Uh, it's got the Yeti 75 in there. It's got a little more storage. Uh, you do have your white and red lighting over on this side. So white right now. Change that around to red at night if you want to. These are all on drawer slides, so 500 pound drawer slides that comes out. I like how the lights are integrated. You don't just have a strip light just taped on there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, we try we try to to figure out the details. Even the hinges are heavy duty. So these hinges, these fully recessed hinges, we really didn't want to penetrate this body any more than we had to. Um, so this is a custom design hinge here, again with gas struts. Um, a lot of HDPE, high density polyethylene back here. Again, you have these heavy duty vehicle gaskets. This is built much more like your traditional automotive vehicle as opposed to a recreational vehicle. We try to take more cues from uh, industries that are a lot more developed, a lot more high quality, um, and we're really trying to do those things and kind of level us up, you know, above the standard expectations of the uh, RV camp. It definitely looks like you're there. So, and then you wanted, to, was there a difference with the galley over there? A pretty big difference, actually. I wanted a great big bay window. So if you just poke your head in here for a second, you can see the difference in the cabin. You got a little less space in here, but a lot more stuff. So uh, more storage up here. You got a systems monitor there. That's going to tell you what uh, your battery power is, your solar charge. It's going to tell you what your water tank levels are. Uh, this obviously has those uh, that AC unit at the top. Um, I didn't realize that the uh, 
the skylight's actually open. Yeah, vents yeah. open in the yeah. front, so that's your venting for the cabin. Um, one of the things that you can kind of hint at here, so this is your water fill, just a gravity water fill. You got 21 gallons of water in this trailer. Uh, that trailer does that's not actually have a lot water. for a trailer this size. Yeah. Um, but what this, this shows you is this, this trailer actually, we talked about the four areas of uh, storage in that one. You have your tongue box, right. your internal headboard, your galley, and your cabin storage. This actually has an additional area right in the middle. All your mechanicals are inside. So that great body that we talked about, right. insulated, waterproof, no seams. Your battery, your water tank, your forced air heater, all that stuff's inside. So if you want to do winter camping, as long as your heater's running, you do not have to winterize this. You can have hot water all year round. Wow. Uh, nice. You're protected from water, you're protected from dust. Um, this is actually the cabinet face from the back that doubles as a table. Same yeah, I was going to ask about that. That's a pretty cool cool setup there. And, and what's the material on this? Is it the same thing? That same thing, that high density polyethylene yeah. HCPE. Uh, and you have mounts here where you can mount that to either fender. These are structural fenders. Uh, this one has the rock rails on the front too. So if you want to climb onto that, you can kind of get to the other areas of the trailer. Uh, Life is good. Um, and then this one back here is quite a bit different. Uh, you can see kind of the food storage is flipped. So you got, this one has the upgrade, which is the ARB63. Uh, so this one comes all the way out. You got your 12 volt for powering this. Uh, lots of storage space in there. You can see the water tank is behind there. So that's 21 gallons there. Uh, this one has a built-in uh, stove system as well as more storage down here and like a sponge this. drawer and your sink above it and knife storage all this stuff is fully integrated so this trailer is more the one that's just like the minute you pick it up from us you're, yeah, this you're is, ready to go yeah this is nice um you said that that table is it comes from back here it does. is it right there is it the wall yeah so that okay so once you're uh you're ready to go all these things lock in they close up they secure for the trip so you're not gonna have anything rattling around uh even this which is your cutting board if i get all this out of the way you're going to see that this kind of locks up in here and closes out your knife set. Yeah. And that just closes in with magnets there. That's nice, and yeah. like you were mentioning, that just kind of, that leg folds in and locks nice that in into place. Very nice. And so what does something like this retail for? So this model, which is the Voyager model, this starts at $43,990. Okay. So $10,000 more for this one. Yeah. This one also has integrated solar on the back. So this is 140 watts of solar back here. This charges while you're driving. And then has a 12 foot extension that you can kind of put it out can that solar system run the ac as well the the setup the uh, so this has a double lithium ion battery bank okay. um it does help with it uh the ac unit's the biggest power hog we have so, so that yeah. is one that may uh, occasionally require additional power yeah uh, but with a normal system your solar panel especially if you have the double lithium uh you're going to have regenerative power you're going to be able to stay off the grid for at least uh, seven to ten days with those wow. systems. Wow, okay. Last thing we have from the galley is actually you got your little water mixer back here and your quick connect. So I mentioned the, the magnets for the door uh, shades. Same thing for your oh, shower. Wow. So yeah. you just got a magnet in there, you want to use your shower. We're under the great Rome 180 awnings. This yeah. thing's huge. Uh, in the next few months I think they're coming out with a, an annex room for this as well. So. Uh, lots of outdoor space. I like how it has the the uh, the arms that extend to allow water to run out away from the trailer. Yeah, these little things are great. And one of the nice things about these bigger awnings like this, um, they're actually easier to set up with one person uh, than the traditional straight awnings. These things just kind of the arm, big arms swing out structurally. It's really, really sound. They did a great job with this. And oh yeah. Like I said, it's just a huge like amount. That of outdoor space you can uh, stand up here to change you can put a table out here uh, obviously these trailers are, are small enough that you're not standing up inside them uh, but the way that they deploy there's so much that you can uh, kind of space you can utilize around the trailer as well absolutely How you guys doing? Yeah, yeah. Good, how are you? Good.
Mind if I poke inside? Of course. Yeah. Please. It's very nice. Wow. It's like an aircraft in here, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Take off this thing again. <laughs> wow. I'm assuming each one each one of those switches in there does something, right? Yeah, you can wire them up. <clears throat> so you can hook up each of those switches to an auxiliary power. Okay, so those are open circuits. There's nothing connected right now, that's just no, a panel. Right okay. Now, yeah. Okay, so it's kinda like an open concept. You can do you, you can do you anything to this. Okay. Yeah. This is nice. What uh what is this exactly? Any of grenadier? What, what, what year is it? I heard a grenadier. Yeah. Yeah. So what year is this? Is this like... This is going to be probably a 2023 Enios Grenadier. That's pretty nice. Yeah. You just don't see them in person is what it is, you know? Yeah. Well, we haven't started selling them in the country yet. Okay. And, um, we start to deliver them to our customers in November. Okay. So where is this made? Made in Hambach, France. Okay, because I, I, I follow a couple of overlanders and I've yeah. seen them out there. People use them. Yeah. You know, I just haven't never seen one in person. And that's why, because they're not yeah. out here yet. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Yeah. So you said November, they'll, they'll, we'll start, we'll start seeing yeah. in November. thousand but this is a house this is a Ford Super Duty 600 Wanda box very nice This is a canyon. This is nice. Yeah. How you doing? Hey, good, and you? Good. You don't mind if I of course. Go ahead. walk around? Thanks. It's very nice. Thank you. Is this yours? Company? Yeah, we're, yeah. yeah, we're Red Bear Outdoors. And okay. Basically, we're showcasing uh, our interior cabinetry builds we've been putting together called Adventure Coach Works. Um, and if you take a look inside, essentially we've got everything made out of Baltic birch. So it's very heavy duty wood, um, very resilient and very long lasting. And basically, what we've built here is an Alucab kit out uh, because we're a, an Alucab dealer up in Ontario. And uh, right now, we're already producing custom builds. Uh, and we have a goal of producing modular kits that we'll be able to ship uh, across North America by the end of this week. This is uh, awesome. So you got your sleeper up top and your... Yep, that's right. I guess your lounge at the bottom. Yeah, basically. Yeah? yeah. And then you guys build everything from the cab up? Uh, so the uh, the outside camper itself is Alucab. Okay. That's the brand. Uh, they're from South Africa. So we do basically outfitting and installation. Okay. Stuff. Um, and we're building everything custom that's on the interior itself. So it comes as like a metal shell. Right. And, then everything and then you, you guys build it up. Build out. Yep. Okay. Is there a website that we can go on to get more information? Yeah, go to redbearoutdoors.ca. Uh, and if you're specifically interested in the cabinetry itself, it's adventurecoachworks.com. All right. Anything uh, specific that stands out on this uh, on this build here? I mean, you got a you got a, a bottle opener, I mean, <laughs> come on, who doesn't want a bottle opener, right? Right, it's kind of handy for everybody <laughs> in your overlay. Uh, the, one of the favorite things I have here is that we have a full pass-through window over here uh, that also folds down, and when it falls down, it's a usable table on the inside. Oh, nice, yeah. So if it's a rainy day, like this morning, I woke up this morning, got down, sat on the cushions there, popped open the table, had myself an espresso coffee. You did, yeah, you're gonna have to go to the outside. That's that's, that's awesome, outside that's awesome. Yeah, stay dry. Yeah, now I see a lot of, uh, pillow style um, seating here. Can you convert the bottom as a sleeper as well? Yes. Yeah, so okay. basically what we've done here, there's two wood uh, pieces up top, wood platforms. Right. They go along these ridges here, and then there's an extra stack of mattresses up there that we pull it down, 
uh, in this in this particular truck, it would be enough room for little kids to sleep, like yeah. you know, for my kids here. Uh, for bigger trucks that are with six foot beds, you'd actually have room for another adult to be able. To nice. Go down there. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So you have a is that a, a connection for a 30 amp or something back here or? That one is a standard 15 amp. Okay. Uh, so just basic shore power plug. Uh, we've got a 400 amp battery inside, so tons of power for as long as you need it and solar panel water inverter charger okay the solar on the roof um we've got 120 volt plugs like i said running the coffee machines uh we've got regular dc plugs uh, everything you can think of yeah you got your sh aloe cap shower cube here yep yeah. yep and we got pressurized water as well yeah okay so uh, somebody wants to take a shower. do you have a water tank built in in here or? that's right we got a 50 liter tank in there okay yeah i appreciate your name again uh, Mike from Red Bear Outdoors. Mike, I'm Jay, Finding Jay, YouTube.com. Thank Jay. you. How you doing? Good, man. That's how yeah. it's done, right? That's it. <laughs> Get her started, eh? Yeah. Where are you coming from? Uh, I'm from right here in Virginia. Nice. Yeah. In your backyard. Right in the backyard, yeah. How about yourself? Ottawa, Ontario. You rode from Ontario? Yeah. Hey, man, props to you, man. Thanks, dude. That's how it's done. That's how we do. Yeah. Ride? You got your bike here? No, I got a truck. I got a truck. I'm just doing a little uh, walk around, scenic walk around. Yeah. Nice, brother. This is a great event. Uh, pre area. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciating and respecting you guys. That's on the bikes, you know. <laughs> making that, making that, that adventure trip. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Yeah, man. Have a good. What's one. your name, man? I'll give you a shout out on my channel. Luke. Luke, I'm Jay. Hey, Jake. My name's Luke. I'm with Overland North. Overland North. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a young channel finding Jay. Nice. On YouTube, I'm, I'm still learning, still yeah, growing. Here, yeah. We produce an event like this. Okay. Okay. I'll give you a sticker. So Absolutely. You can, fully, you can be part of the club. Absolutely. Love it. So you got a crew with you here? Oh yeah, that's nice. That's that'll go on my rig somewhere. I came I came down on my own, but there's I there's probably six or seven of us okay. that are a part of the community. How long is the trip? Twelve hundred kilometers. Okay. So I drove for yeah eighteen hours. Eighteen hours. Yeah. What so stops? so it's fair to say that you are a dedicated. A, 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 a enthusiast. I think so. Or I'm crazy. Button <laughs> <laughs> right. for punishment. Heck yeah. Hey, it's good to meet you, man. Yeah, you too, man. My name's Craig with Kuat. I'm Jay from Finding Jay on YouTube.com. Hey, nice to meet you, Jay. Thank you. Same here. What do you got going on? So, we are here at uh, Virginia Overland Expo East showing off our new truck bed rack, Kuat Ibex. This is a plug and play system, regardless of it's a, of if it's a full size truck or mid size truck, and then whatever the bed length is. We even have a gladiator skew coming, so this is completely modular. Okay. Is this universal for trucks? Okay. Yes. I already see on top the rack is a slide in style rack. That's right. You can move these crossbars fore and aft if you want to load like a big dresser in your truck. Um, the other thing, we have accessories like crossbar risers that bump these up and can fan them outward. So if you have to load a really heavy tent, uh, it's all 6061 aluminum, Tiger powder coat. These are all architectural billet machine, 15 year no fade. Yeah, so definitely, super, yeah. definitely. that's a solid uh, handle. Oh yeah, that's it's all not, aluminum. Yeah. So all of our accessories, we did not skimp out uh, when entering this vertical. So it's available now. Kuat Ibex. Nice. What's the website? Website is kuat.com. www.kuat.com. Now, you guys, you guys accessorizing these uh, better racks with uh, you have extra extra equipment that you sell on the side for this? No, you could. You could mount these up. So these Mole panels are really conducive to mount or adapt anything you want. So I mean, the panels themselves are universal. Well, universal in the sense that they work with our rack, but they're okay. universal too in the sense that we offer all this spacing so you can fit OEM like Max Tracks hardware, Rotopack hardware, yeah. or other Mole panels. You're That's not a great idea. To yeah, the OEM hardware. What's uh what's something like this go for? The base skeleton unit, uh, you can kind of see over here in the box. This is what the customer would get. It's around fifteen to sixteen hundred. Okay. And that includes all your crossbars, 
and everything. It's all flat packed, really nice. And then as far as accessories, they range from, you know, 50 to a couple hundred bucks, depending on your panels and, and what yeah. you want to configure to your rack. Nice. So. And where's it made? Uh, we're, we're home based in Springfield, Missouri. Okay. So, yeah. Yep. Missouri company. And so is this is this kind of like a breakdown of the of the uh these are some of the accessories, accessories that we have uh, we also in we, so we make the truck bed racks we're known in the bike rack world um, and then we make two different snow racks and then kayak racks so we are not just a bike rack brand we it's just an all, outdoor enthusiast all your outdoor gear for your right. vehicle different style of bungee yep I like that. It says, your bungee sucks. Are you done? The perfect bungee. It does say your bungee sucks. We don't make leashes anymore. We used to. Uh, but just have to, you know, we got rid of it. Yeah, you're like in the corner. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Phil, down to Mob Overland. Okay. And yeah, this is my Jeep Gladiator. So nice. It's, uh, we took the bed off and started over, built the aluminum frame um, that we built in Arizona, and then okay. actually brought it, that was with my friend Kevin Nichols, and brought it to Oklahoma, built bison overland built the camper walls up on it so it's frp composite um and then yeah i built the interior it was a big collaboration of a lot of talented people so yeah other I mean, than myself this is definitely very <laughs> unique and very nice i like this thank you yeah so it all works around the table the table spins and flips pushes down and those pads come up and make it into a bed nice but it's you know it's like a huge table to fit for people if you want to yeah. like eat dinner how long did it take you to there. build this uh it was a three-year project, three -year project? The, okay. the camper was about a year and a half from knowing like okay this is how we're gonna do it and it's a one-off custom build so yeah. there was a lot of design and like yeah, r d yeah. that went into blueprint that goes into this. Yeah. yeah yeah exactly what year is your uh your jeep so it's 2020 okay yeah and so you then, started with a pretty new platform yeah it was so. my first new truck and we cut it up we cut the frame off and the back and widened it to and fit that the takes a lot of guts spare. already you know taking a new vehicle nice. chopping it up yeah and you say you're from arizona yeah did you did you drive up here from arizona yeah so i live full-time in this um okay i've been living in it for three years i've been on the road for about five years and then yeah we got the camper on a year and a half ago so i like it uh is there anything that you, you plan on doing different or anything you would do different at this point v8 would be great yeah 42s okay all right <laughs> i mean that. that that's like bucket list but i don't need it it's it's done i know we we don't use that it's word been, all the time yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. pretty much done yeah, yeah. i like your setup man thanks man yeah, are you traveling got alone or do you have a so a my companion? girlfriend travels in right. her van. Okay, so you followed along she or you? Yeah. Her van, All right. So we're we're staying out of this right now. Nice. Yeah, it can support two people. It's a little tight, but uh, but yeah. So we swapped to. There, there's no such thing as tight when you're uh, when you're doing this, right? Well, you gotta make it work. You know, there's. <laughs> I mean, shoot. What's it's like perspective, right? Like yeah. These folks are traveling off of adventure bikes and it's yeah, yeah. They can get anywhere. They can get down trails. You know, yeah. That are single track, like. So yeah, it all depends where you want to go. Have you been across the country with this? Uh, yeah. So yeah. I'm from the West Coast. Um, been all up through the Pacific Northwest, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, through uh, Canada, and yeah, it's it's been to uh, over 20 states or so. Nice. Um, yeah, we uh, we swapped to Dana Spicer Ultimate 60 axles and then 40 inch tires, and and that was a big uh, question mark of where to put the spare. Yeah, so, yeah just, and I see the spare under there. Yeah, we cut the frame and widened it to fit it. And then there's a 2,000 pound Warren winch that runs through the camper frame to pick it up. And yeah, and lower it, so. heck yeah. yeah. I see you got some solar panels hooked up. Yeah, just some extra. Don't really need these right now, but when I'm parked in the shade and on the East Coast, there's so many more trees. So yeah. This was an East Coast thing, getting some extra solar. Yeah. Um, yeah, 570 watts total with these of Zamp, yeah. Obsidian panels. Now, does this thing have, and I see there's more on top. 
Yeah, there's yeah, there's 370 watts up here, and this is 200. So it nice. does great just with those. Um, but when I'm sitting in the same spot, I edit YouTube videos and I'm yeah. on my computer. Yeah. It sucks, sucks a lot of times. Yeah. Gotcha, man. Well, thanks for the walk around, man. Nice yeah. rig. Thank you, man. Thank you, appreciate boss. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, I'll you're... catch you on YouTube, right? Absolutely. What's the YouTube channel? Yeah, absolutely. Down to Mob Overland. Hey Sean. So Sean's going on a free ride, right Sean? What do you need for the ride? Custom A, custom B. Okay. See, I got my bike license in the truck, and I don't feel like walking back out there. So I won't be riding today, but Sean will, right Sean? I wasn't wearing shorts. I was like, these belong to someone. If they fall asleep, it's a 10. Yeah, this is a 10. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a 10. That's definitely a 10. That's, that's pretty nice. Okay. Now. Can you shout me out on no, Instagram? You, I will. It has a little air release buttons. You can also make it softer. Oh. Oh. That's I mean, this is yeah. already perfect. <laughs> this is a 10. A 10? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a 12 if you shout me out on uh, Instagram. <laughs> Finding J on YouTube.com. <laughs> Finding J on YouTube.com. Okay. Yep, so Finding J. <laughs> Ten. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's self-inflating. The pack size is really small. It's about this big. Um, we make them single size, but you can pair them. So we make specialized shapes for vehicles. And then this is like um, for tents, cots, and rooftop tents. Okay. And then, it yeah, so it's an air foam combo. So you get the insulation from the foam, but you get the adjustability of the air. And so, what are the price ranges from, from what to what on these mattresses? Um, so, on these ones particularly, this is our largest size, and these are 180 online. Okay. And then we have various sizes for vehicles that start around like 169 to like 209. Is there a website that we can go on to find these? Yep, deepsleepoverland.com. Okay, I just want to make sure that these mattresses come with those nice bags. They come with those nice bags. 
bags. Okay, there you yeah. go. They also come with a two-year warranty, a free repair service if you ever need it, and there's also a little emergency patch kit in there. So okay. if you're on the road, and something happens. Something happens. Yeah. And your name? I'm Liz. Give us a tour. This is the Zero Breeze. Is this your brand? This is the Zero Breeze booth. Yeah. Okay. We got our Mark II model here. Uh, right now it's running off a lithium battery. This lithium battery on full blast will give you between four and six hours. You can hook it up to the Zero Breeze power bank and that'll give you 20 hours continuous. Okay, so nice. See, if you put your camera inside here, you can see the temperature gauge. It'll give you really? the temperature output. Yeah. Oh, sure enough. Look at that. And I can actually feel it. Yep. Yeah. And on a day like today where it's hot and cold, a mixture of, you can actually get some heat coming out back here. Really? So can you can you switch you flip it? Flip it around? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. You can double up on the batteries as well. Okay. They'll stack and you can get more uh, more output out of it. So this has its own battery. This has a battery that you buy separate. Separately, okay. Yeah. Now you can run this off a of 110 as yeah. well. Just straight into a 110 outlet, okay. like we do on the back roads, and then you can run it all day off your, off your battery. And then you got the solar panel yeah. that'll keep yeah. the uh, the yeah. bank. This 100 watt solar panel, you can do up to 400 watts connected into this. Nice. The input is over a thousand watts that you can input into it to charge it. It's a fast charge that'll do it in two and a half hours. So what's the charge rate off the solar panel? This is 100 watts. Okay, yeah. so that'll that'll keep that topped off. Yes. Yeah, nice. We've had this on since yesterday. We got the blow dryer here so that the ladies can see. Yeah, and the blow dryer pulls a lot of electricity. So if that's yeah. pushing that, that's good. Okay. Is there a website that people can go on? Yeah, if... you can check it out at zerobreeze.com. Okay, thanks. What's your name? Mike. What's going on, guys? What's going on, my man? I'm uh, just making some gumbo here. Oh, yeah. It smells good, definitely. Come, come get a look at this roux, though. That's what's important right let's here. Let's see. Let's see what yeah. we got. If your roux doesn't look like black, oh, man. then you're not doing it right. I don't want your gumbo. Oh, man. It's not so is this gumbo. your setup? Your setup is more for being the chef? Yeah, it's 100% okay. about being a chef, yeah. Okay. You have a website? I do. Uh, Overlandchef.com. Okay. Uh, same on uh, Instagram and YouTube. Okay. So You give me a quick uh, breakdown uh, of yourself here and your, sure. your setup? So uh, I am a professional chef. Been in the restaurant business my entire life. Uh, been a, a, a executive chef for probably the last 15, 16 years. Uh, I decided to leave the industry. It's a kind of a toxic, stressful work environment to just kind of do what I do out in the great outdoors. And it's uh, been amazing for my mental health and just things like that. Yeah. So it started as a way to uh, raise awareness for, for about the, uh, you know, the burnout that's going on in the, in the industry right now. And to like give hope to those in the industry that, you know, like you can, you can find that peace, you can recenter yeah. yourself, yeah. you know, you can uh, get a, a nice rest and refresh if you yeah. just like, you know, get outside and, and uh, you know, or find something that you're passionate about, you know, yeah. and so, you know, so that's kind of uh, where it started, and then we've just been going everywhere, um, been all over the country, uh, in, in Baja. We uh, we're like the chuck wagon for excursions and expeditions. Uh, we've like catered weddings in the mountains. Uh, we do all these kinds of events and things like that. We just really like to get off grid and, okay. and uh, show people you know you can cook really anything. Yeah. And are you going to be selling plates here in a minute or? So we're going to give out samples of the gumbo when it's okay. ready. Okay. Um, we do have like uh, some of our pantry line with us, like our, our granolas and things like that that we okay. do sell. Okay. We'll set that out later. Okay. Um, but yeah. I'll come back and support you here in, uh, when you're ready. Sweet. Come but thank on. you. Great story, my man. Thanks. Appreciate <laughs> you. Absolutely. I love the shower scent. Yeah, it's nice, yeah.
build up of mucky, gray, slush on the sides of the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm playing. Yeah, but he's staying here. Imagine just going. Yeah, we're excited. I'm doing it. He's back here. Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get You guys mind if I peek inside? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Thank you. Wow. This is this is pretty incredible, man. Boat seats. So we're not just another cooler company, we're a storage and organizational company that just so happens to make a pretty badass cooler. Okay. Uh, everything stems around our dry storage can, oh, which nice. you can put just about anything in. It is still food safe materials. Uh, and then we also sell the cans in pre-kitted formats. So first aid kits from my medic. We've got NOCO jump charger kits. We've got a tool roll full of spices and hot sauce. Uh, hydration, fire starter kits, you name it. Or you can fill it with whatever you want. I took all the little stuff out of my camp box and I've got one full of nothing but headlamps, flashlights, and batteries so the kids don't just go blow up a camp box all yeah. over the place when they're looking for stuff. Will the cooler help keep these things a bit cooler? No. no. If it did, that would mean that technically our cooler is probably not that great. Right, because the, the coolness yeah, is... You don't, but if you put something warm you ever been to a gas station? This, <laughs> it's like that uh, for like 30 of them. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, because of the insulation, yeah, it'll, it'll... We still have insulation through here, so okay. it will still retain that for a longer time. Uh, but it's not going to get any transfer from the main cooler area out. Uh, but obviously they fit all sorts of fun things in life. Uh, you name it. So is that is that the the uh, firing test sample? Everybody always thinks we shot at this one. This is actually one that we sent off to get bear tested to be oh, okay. a certified bear proof container. Yep, same with the orange. Uh, okay. We have every size we make. We have to send up to West Yellowstone to get tested so we can get this nice fancy little sticker. I used to think was BS, but apparently out west in a, a bunch of the national parks, there's uh, you have to have. If you don't, you get caught by a park ranger. He takes your stuff, gives you a nice little fine, and asks you to leave. The park. So, so which is a bad day? <laughs> which is your most popular selling cooler here? Uh, for this market, it's definitely this one. It takes okay. up a little less space, uh, but it still holds quite a bit of. Uh, we did actually I finally stick that out. That's still about a <laughs> Yeah. I definitely like the uh, the setup. You know, you can have your, your your cool things cool and still be able to kind of like organize yep. your other foods that you need to bring along. Absolutely. So cool setup. Is there uh, we hold ice as long, if not a little bit longer, than all the other high-end coolers because we still have another layer of stuff around it, except right. for in the middle. So if you look over there, we've got a cutaway where we cut one of them in half. And, I mean, it's got almost a solid two inches of foam all the way around. So, Is there a website that we can go to to find more? more Absolutely. Goboxco.com. Okay, your name? RJ Lynn. RJ Dad. Lynn. I'm Jay. Finding Jay YouTube.com. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you, sir. Same here. Yeah. Have a good show. Thank you. Yeah. And then, 
less than 90 seconds and it's up, so it's like by the time you get your bedding, it's up and ready to go. I love it, man. I deserve that little yeah, couple I was, armor. I was gonna say. I hey, hey you want, what size t-shirt are you? Uh, extra large. XL. I'd be, oh, shit. Not that I work out, but I do drink a lot. We might, we might be out, but the double XL kind of—they all fit. Hey, hey, that's good. I'll they take it. Yeah. 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 Would you like to tell me a little bit about the deck draw system? I mean, I featured it on my channel, but a little bit more information would be good. Yeah. Uh, well, it's. Down your best drawer system you can get in the planet. I, I agree. Pull out lifetime warranty, 200 pounds in each drawer, waterproof, dustproof. What more do you need? I keep my guns in there. There you go. I, would, I wouldn't keep them in there if I didn't trust it, that's for sure. Nothing gets between me and them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I know, this week I didn't even. I gotta go get on it like now. Hello. So is this your setup here? This is my Jeep. What? <laughs> Amazing. There's a lot going on. Well, while he's looking to give me a gifted shirt, would you like to give me a walk around yeah. on it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's your name, first of all? My name's Annetta. Annetta, I'm Jay. Nice Finding Jay you. YouTube.com if you want to see yourself on TV. Nice to but meet you. But go ahead, tell me a little bit about this. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm from New York. Oh, I'm so, from New York. Okay, what part? Uh, Brooklyn. Staten Island. Okay. Yeah, so uh, where do we start here? So we've got the deck system. This is where we're Absolutely, I got one. I love it. So here's my this is the camp kitchen basically, and this is all the tools, recovery gear, all the nuts and bolts you might need for this. So we got this extrusion rack on Sunday and it installed it okay. just for uh, to get out here. So okay. we've got the slide here. My favorite. Part. Oh, that's yeah, that's yeah. pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. So we built this. It, it came in three little boxes. And we built it all together. Just tightened everything. It's, pretty easy setup? Yeah. So, I mean, no, it's not that, it's pretty complicated because it's okay. basically Legos, but yeah, solid rack. I love it. It's yeah. aluminum. It replaced a 150 pound steel rack. So. My man, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> so you're out of XLs and 2X. So I got to squeeze into this. Hey, that means I got to go for an extra walk you around this park. You need that schmedia. Make it look <laughs> So, uh, yeah. So. I see you got like, a, is that a, maybe a, a three pound propane tank there? This then? is five pound. Five is that a five pound? pound? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, five pound. Um, water storage is here from Midnight Forest. It's eight gallons and it runs into this pump here so you have a shower uh, whenever you need. And let's see, in here, this is one of my other favorite parts. This is the rear seat delete by Cargo Dog. Oh yeah, so, that's pretty tight. Yeah. yeah, my dog's pretty tall, so he would always fall off the bench. Right. You know. So now he's got much. Does better. it come with the LED lights in yes, there? Yes. Oh wow. Is, everything is incorporated in there. They're separately lockable, so you can just lock one. Everything has a different key. Um, nice. Inside the middle one, you have like um, voltage meter and everything. Extra, extra um, plugins. Plugins like USB, yeah. USB C. And, and a, yeah, that one and the cigarette lighter. Okay. Is also yeah, there. for accessories, 12 volt exactly. accessories. I gotcha. Yeah. Well, yeah, and this is the, this is my newest tent. It's okay. My third time around with a tent. Tough stuff over land, of course. I love that one. Yeah. It's I love really, the uh, really the height. Gives, it makes you feel bigger than what it is, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, because when I first, you can run it two different ways. You can have just the wedge for yeah. real quick 
uh, pop up, yeah. and then that pops up as well. So much more headroom. Yeah. So much more comfortable. And, and you got it all set up on what? What year is the Jeep? This is a 2020 Sport S okay. that I turned into a wannabe Rubicon because it's rock. <laughs> it, is, it is what you, it's it's what you make it right yep yeah yeah we just got back from the rubicon trail uh in july we did that and then we did a cross-country road trip home okay so, yeah live out of this yeah. thing well thank you thank you for the uh walk around beautiful uh beautiful uh setup here yeah thank you so I'm uh, off-road fitness on Instagram. Off, oh, there you go. Uh, give me the Instagram one more time. It's off-road fitness. All okay. Yeah. Off-road fitness. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. We'll definitely be looking you up. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. The little ridge right here. So the, the beat of that just sits down here. Moving even tired. Very retro, right? In a lot of ways. Doing what you got here? So we're lead lenser. Have you ever heard of us? Don't know if I have. I, I'm always into things. I might have. Okay. Yeah. German engineered and designed. Seven year warranty on all the products. Oh wow. Yeah. So is there anything specific that makes you guys stand out? I mean, seven years is already a head start. Yeah. And that's pretty good, but we're known for our focusing optic system. We actually invented this system right here. You still, you'll see these zoomies on yeah. Amazon for like 20 bucks or whatever. Yeah. They're trying to copy ours, but we have okay. an international patent on that. Okay. We're also the first flashlight company that's ever put an LED in a flashlight. Okay. And uh, we have some brand new headlamps, which are spectacular. This guy right here has what's called adaptive light beam technology. You turn it on and it auto senses the environment. Oh, heck. Yeah, wow. If you're reading, it automatically gives you a reading light. If wow. you need to just throw down range, it automatically adjusts for that. Not only does it uh, adjust the brightness, but it also adjusts the beam pattern. Wow. So it's, in my opinion, the best headlamp in the world right now. So what's, what's something like that cost? Uh, 170. 170. And yeah. is there? I see. There's different. Is there different models here? There is. Yeah. This guy right down here is the, the step down from it. It's got similar optics, but the only way to control them is through a wheel. Okay. Right. And then it's got a clicker for uh, high, medium, low. Okay. This guy down here, you only can control it through the button. It doesn't have a wheel or automatic, uh, you know, control. Okay. So they're just kind of, you know, new optic systems. Three high, medium, and low. Headlamps, that's Seven nice. Warranty. And so over here we got the flashlights. Now at first glance I would have thought that's a salt shaker, but <laughs> but it's a, it's in another form. Is that like a like a lantern? It is. It is. You press and hold the middle button, it turns it on, and then you can click through the uh, settings. Okay. And then once you get to white, you can double click it. That's actually that's actually awesome. Uh, and so something like that costs how much? Uh, Eight nine ninety. Yeah, ninety okay. bucks. Okay, At is the there a website? We have 20% off. Today we have what? At the show we have 20% off. 20% off. And is there a website that people can go on to check yep. you guys out? Ledlenserusa.com. Ledlens Ledlenser at USA.com. Yep. And your name? Rob. Sarah. Sarah, good to meet you guys. Thank nice you. you. Awesome. How are you doing? Good. Wanna hear my spiel? Go ahead, go for it. <laughs> Um, so these are our fly telescoping lights. So this one here is actually that big guy that's right there. He reaches up to 10 feet tall. He's our newest launch. We uh, came out with him in May. Um, what's cool about him is you're getting 2,600 lumens and you can fully control him from this little uh, mode, uh, this remote here. Yeah. Um, and then they just attach under the base. Um, so you're getting 2,600 lumens and that's its highest setting. With that 2,600 lumens, you're gonna get around six hour runtime. Um, sometimes I get longer, it just kind of depends. Um, but then whenever you have it on your lowest setting, we say about 24 hours once again. Oh yeah, it's just our base. Um, what's cool about this also is it has such a strong battery that you're able to charge other things from it. So I charge my phone, my Kindle, my iPad, that kind of thing all from here. Oh, USB and USB-C or? Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's USB-C to charge and then you can plug in your USB to charge other things from it. Okay. Yep. 
really cool stuff here. Um, and then it does come with the red light mode too. Okay. What's cool about this guy is he's eight feet and you can still have a normal Thank flashlight you. input. So you're gonna get your flashlight, your floodlight, and you're gonna get like your red light here. And he has a magnetic face, he's really okay, good. You made me nervous. I was like, I know, right? Just good because you don't want to fall over whenever you're like, I don't understand, but then he has stakes here for a minute. So you yeah. can stake them That's right in, the and there's also a little ball <laughs> joint here. <laughs> so if you're on uneven ground, you just move where you need him to be. And he's also remote control. Nice. And then we have our six and a half foot version, and he is not remote controlled, but I'm not the tallest person, and I'm able to reach up just fine. I 700 lumens, and then you get your different modes here with your red light, your strobes, that kind of thing. Um, the runtime on this guy is about the same as this time guy, but you're getting 1200 lumens with him. Okay. Um, so the runtime on high for both of these guys is about two hours. On its lowest settings, you can probably get around six to eight. All three of them are quick charge, so you'll have about a three hour charge time on him and two hours on these guys. Okay, and what, uh, what are these retail for? So retail, this is $79.99, $139.99, and $199.99. But there's a uh, show special going on right now um, for people over the next. Okay, so what are they going for for people at the expo today? Gotcha. So it's going to be $160, $110, and $60. And the cool thing about these guys is if you're here and staying here or staying in the area, you buy one today, you snap a picture of it, tag us on Instagram or Facebook, and we'll give you a free light for $40. So you get to choose between one of these guys. You oh, wow. Light here. Nice. And the cool thing about him is you have a dual hinge like hook here, and you can also hook him here. And he has another really strong magnetic base. Or you get our flexible headlamp, fully flexible this way, nice. and you get your peripheral lit up that way. Nice. And what's your name? My name is Ariana. And what's the website that we can go to check this out? STKR Concept. Okay. The bed it has a lounge area and it has a an enclosed shower. Look at that. This is nuts. And I swear it feels ventilated. So, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. You got your water there. Nice. How you going? How you doing? Good. That's good to hear. This is a pretty nice setup here. Excuse me. Thank you. All the way from Australia. All the way from Australia. Yeah. Would you like to uh, tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. This is the Track Trailer T van. It's pretty much a household name back home. Okay. It's the king of off road uh, in our space. And um, we brought it to the American market with our good friends at X Grid in Knoxville. Okay. And it's available to buy. So come on down, get one, and uh, go have some fun. Very nice, very nice. It, it actually looks and feels bigger on the inside than, than what you see from the outside. Yeah, we get that TARDIS comparison a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, is it like independent suspension for yeah. off-roading? and? It's our own off-road suspension. Okay. We manufactured it for the Australian military. Nice. And we have different versions of it tuned specifically for this body. Does it, uh, does it have solar? Yeah. It does? So this has got uh, 200 amp hours worth of Battleborn batteries in the back. It's got a 120 watt solar panel on the roof. Okay. And it's running a Red Arc Manager 30 system with the Red Arc Nice. Screen. Okay. And it's full app controlled as well. Does it have a water tank? Yep. It's got a 28.5 gallon rear water tank. Nice. And you can option for a second water tank that's 20 at the front. Very nice. And your name? Lloyd. Is there a website, Lloyd? Yeah. TrackRVs.com. And uh, obviously also XGrid campus. They're located in Knoxville and in uh, Las Vegas. Sounds good. Let me get that. I'm gonna put that on my uh, on my setup. Cool. So that uh, we make sure people get your name out there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. This is insane right here. This this hammock tent setup. That's that's actually pretty cool. Yeah.
Okay. What kind of products do you have? We have batteries, we have power units, we have portable power units, we have jump starter kits, and then we have our small battery chargers. Okay. So the small battery uh, chargers, maybe to charge like a cell phone, cell phones, iPads. Yeah, iPads. Okay. So they'll run lights, and they have USB ports, they have wireless charging. These are really interesting. They have oh, lights. wow, yeah. They have lights on them, flashlights. And nice. Like that. So it's a great little product. Special sale on those for $30. Here and show. how long does that hold a charge? It's got 20,000 milliamps, and they'll hold the charge for up to a year. Really? Okay. And they'll maintain it. Lithium is a really nice product to, to use. Nice. And then it steps up from that to this yeah. one here? Yep. Uh, this is an inverter, so this actually has a battery of plug in, so you can plug in these devices. So it's okay. an inverter, it's a 150 watt inverter. It's got about 100 watt hours on it, so it gives you the ability. We built this specifically so you can take it on an airplane because it's under 100 watts. Wow. And this is a jump starter kit, so this is something that everyone should have in their vehicles. So it's a jump starter plus an air compressor. Comes in a nice little kit. Okay. Yeah. What's something like that go for? $70. Okay. I think that's the kit that um isn't that the kid that uh sean got earlier no i think he got do you have another like a power power bank that has the air compressor on no. No, no, so it it's that, that one because I remember that, yeah. And then from there, you obviously have a. Then we go up to, yeah, this is an inverter. This is just like a big brother to this one. So this is a 500 watt inverter. It stores about 650 watts of power. And it gives you the ability to do all kinds of different things with it. You can use it for medical devices, run it refrigerators, okay. um, lights, charging, and other devices. And it just keeps getting. And then we'll go to our biggest one, right? right. Here, which is a 2000 watt inverter. Okay. Yeah, and that store is just a little less than a thousand watts of power on it. But with that battery, we can throw another battery on top of it, which is the very one which has 2,000 watts of power. Okay. And is there a website that people could go on to find out a little bit more? Yeah, lionenergy.com. Lionenergy.com. Okay, and your name? I'm Greg. How you guys doing? Hi there. What you got going on here? The Thunderbox. This is a, I'm assuming, a traveling porta potty. It is. Have you heard of it before, or are you just making assumptions? <laughs> no, man, I'm 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 guessing over here. You, could you tell me a little bit about it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, 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 uh, it folds down to an inch thick. Yeah. To deploy, you just open it up like that. There's an accordion hinge there. Throw in a bag. This one already has a bag liner in it. Cool. Throw in your bag like you would just line a garbage can, right? To collect the waste. There's one uh, latch here to um, to uh, lock it. It won't lock unless it's um, lined up. You just line up these this groove right here. Right. Throw the latch in. Again, there'd be a bag in there. Yeah. Do your business. Close your lid when you're close the lid when you're not using it. Keeps like the smell that. out. Keeps flies out, insects and whatnot. Um, it's the same height and whole as a standard toilet. So. Uh, Is there a weight capacity? Well. I don't know. We stopped counting at 500 pounds. So, oh, we, wow. so the technical answer is I don't know, but I can tell you up to 500 pounds. We stacked bricks on it and then ran out of bricks. Wow. So uh, I mean, it definitely looks like it's something that you can pretty much fit anywhere. Yeah. I mean, that's the beauty behind our, our products is being only an inch thick. I mean, when you're when you're camping, right? Space is a premium because there's a lot of gear that usually goes along with it. It's pretty easy to find a room for this. Yeah. I mean, anywhere under the seat, under the bed, yep. in a drawer. Yeah. Yeah, is that like galvanized metal? It's, yeah, galvanized steel, MDF. There's no okay. plastic in it, and it's okay. all handmade in Australia with 100% Australian components. You have the Australian made sticker, you kind of have to be certified to make sure that you're not, I mean, even the metal can't be imported. It has to be all right, home, okay. homegrown in Australia. And is so there, it's, you know, I mean, it's handmade by a guy. I mean, it's, you know, not from an assembly line. It's not okay. in some sweatshop. So what, what's some, something like this cost? Um, at the show, they're $20 off, so they're $155. Nice. And is there a website where people can look you up? Yes, thunderboxusa.com. Thunderboxusa.com. Nice. Uh, and your name? I'm Aaron. Aaron, and yours, sir? I'm Fred. Fred, good to meet you guys. I'm nice Jay from you. Finding Jay. And I'll make sure I uh, I share this on uh, Thanks, my Jay. YouTube channel. Thank you. All right, I like thank the you, I like Jay. the shirt. <laughs> hey, thank now you. Now you know about Thunderbox. I, now I know. I won't forget neither because that's pretty interesting. I think I'm going to look into it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Jay. What you got going on here? What don't we got going on here? You know what I'm saying? I'm 
I'm already intrigued. You got a oh, little yeah. bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Uh, I mean, right now we're rocking 30% uh, off the awnings and 30% okay. uh, off the of suspension. Uh, right here, right now, we got our pet beds, a bunch of our chairs, fire pit, some storage, uh, air compressor. Uh, get your little swag bag while I got you here. This will have a uh, koozie, uh, stickers, all sorts of goods inside. Okay. Uh, and we are doing a $500 raffle giveaway. If you're interested, sign up is right over here on the iPad. Okay. And uh, I won't, I won't overwhelm you with uh, a thousand questions. I don't kinds of Why don't you tell me a little bit about this drill here or this fire pit? Fire pit, yeah. Uh, so this right now is. Yeah. Set this aside. I mean, already from standing back here, it looks like it's some good heavy gauge steel. Yes. So this was a uh, one eighth inch steel. This thing is about 33 pounds when comp compacted together. Uh, all fits into the footprint of this uh, uh, catcher right down here. Okay. And packed into a small bag. Simple, easy setup. Tear down and uh, able to. Put some fire in there. Okay. Uh, light and it on up. Yeah. Is it intended for charcoal? A little wood? You know, some wood chips in there? Or? Wood. Yeah. Yep. And okay. there is a rotisserie chicken attachment. So. Oh, is it? Sold separately, but uh, nice, if you're looking nice. to roast the chicken, then. Uh, and how much something like this cost? This one. It was 186 after the discount. 186, okay. Is there a website where we can go to get a little bit more information? Uh, yes, ironman4x4america.com. Thank you for that. And your name? Uh, Matt. Action. How are you doing? Doing well, how are you? Good. Could uh, you give yeah, me a little so information about your uh, product here? Oh, uh, yeah, so uh, planetary design, brew track. Uh, we do drinkware, vacuum insulated. Uh, from tumblers to like larger size, like growlers, 64 ounce water bottles. We also do uh, dry food coffee stores that are airscape containers. And then we have travel presses that you can brew in and then you can drink out of. So you're gonna put your coffee in there with your hot water, you're gonna wait three to five minutes, and then you'll put your lid on, press it down. This is our Overlander, which has a removable bottom to help with cleaning. So when you're done with it, all you have to do is switch it around a little bit and then just dump it right out. Nice. So easy clean up, and then you're also not using as much water uh, for cleaning, so you have that water to actually uh, drink and make so more coffee with. Do you pour hot water in there already? You pressurize it and it sends it already? Yeah, so the screen that's here on the bottom, right. uh, whenever your coffee and your hot water's in there, this is gonna push all that, the coffee grounds to the bottom. Nice. So all you're gonna be left with is drinkable coffee at the top. Nice. And then you can open up the spill-proof lid. Stays back, won't hit you in the nose when you're drinking it, and then also has great airflow holes that still let you smell the coffee too. Because nice. if you can't smell it, what's the point, right? Absolutely, and what's something like this go for? Uh, retail is $50. We also have other options too, like a double shot with a handle. Uh, that retails for around 45 and then our steel toe which retails for around 35 Nice. Is there a website where we can get more information? Yes, you can uh, find all our products at planetarydesign.com. It's bulky. It doesn't pack well. The, you know, it's, it's got the rocks, and, and the rocks are just turning to dust. Like, these, like, oh, yeah, you can feel the heat. On small, packable, like, these, these yeah. foldable legs are sweet. Like, you know, this thing packs away. I have, like, a little crate that I have, like, my own, just like an antique crate, but I have this, one of those, a couple pans. I have a little cookie crate that I have. Wow, this is a monster. Look at this. Oh yeah. Yep. Thanks for the shirt. Yeah, no problem. How you doing? Good. Can you tell me a little bit about this? So you got some that are designed for like vehicles and stuff. What about like these? Yeah, those those also I mean our or whatever. So our background is maritime. We've been in okay. the uh, marine industry for 18 years um, and designing systems ranging from a tugboat to commercial ships to yachts to, uh, um, to anything really. And so basically we do like mobile asset protection. So anything from satellite tracking to uh, remote video surveillance, security monitoring. Um, and with these cameras, uh, we sort of designed for just to last forever basically. It's made yeah. out of a 316th L 
green uh, stainless steel. Um, then you can see like that one right here. There's a new camera that we're <coughs> introducing this thermal. And we have this rotary controller. If you want to come over here, you can see the. Um, it's, it's all connected, so you will switch between the cameras, between the thermal or whatever. Um, this dial right here. Are these 12 volts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you see that right there? You can sort of switch between. Okay. And, uh, and do like a quad view display and everything like that. Do you need a Do you need a monitor or is this a Bluetooth? Uh, type of setup? Uh, it's wired. Okay. Yeah. So you would you would have like a whole setup. You buy the cameras with the monitor. You buy the ki the cameras with the display and then uh, if you want the remote viewability and recording it, you get the, re we have a, um, a multi-carrier device that will work with, uh, it works with Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, and US Cellular, all in one device. Nice. So just see whoever has the best signal to get the, the video off. And then if you can log into the app and see where you're where you're going and everything like that remotely. Yeah. And uh, is there a website where people could get more information? Yes. Yeah, it goes to GOST.com. GOST.com. And your name? Jay. Hi. I see you guys all over YouTube, but now's your time to talk to me. Talk to can you. you. Can you tell me a little bit about Geyser? I sure can. Do you want to know about the heated geyser system? The uh, most efficient, portable shower out that, there? That's what I keep seeing on YouTube. Talk to me. Okay, well... Let me get some water in here so I can show yeah. you what it's like. <laughs> what? What? Sorry. Did I get so three half? liters of water. Oh no, those are. Okay. Those are <laughs> sorry, man. Two liters those of cold water, a liter of boiling piece. water. You got a hot yeah, shower yeah. ready in two minutes. Nice. This is enough to shower two people. Uh, okay. How we accomplish that is the water comes from the sponge. Okay. So there's a pump in here. This is the water control, the flow control valve. This is designed to. The pump is designed to work like your heart. The faster you ask water to pump out, the more so. This is a, this is called last. Water's gushing out. Yeah. I like a long shower, so I slow it way down to creep mode. Water's still coming out, and I'm washing myself. Yeah, very nice. Is there, are there different models? We have two different models. This one has an internal heating element. So you can add water in here, put it in heat mode, and it will heat up the water. Nice. This one does not. It's designed around your camp stove. So that's where you get the two liters of cold, liter of boiling water, you got a hot shower already. Now are these, are these, uh, any of these have like a rechargeable battery where they? Nope, they're both powered with a 12 volt power source, a okay. cigarette lighter. Okay. So they're they're all plug in, they're all just plug off in. of a regular twelve volt. So just regular from your vehicle volt. or from a little power bank. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Is there a website where we can go to get a little bit more information? Yeah. www.geysersystems.com. Thank you. And I'm I'm Jay from Finding Jay on YouTube.com. Jay, so. one more thing. One more thing. Yeah. We gotta keep base camp organized. We don't want absolutely just no camp cooties. We have different color scrubs, so everybody gets their own scrub. Nice. Or if you're washing dishes, you know, absolutely. You know, you that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, yeah, five different colors for you. There you go. Again, the website? www.geysersystems.com. Thank you. You have a little 12 volt cable that'll go here into your cigarette lighter. And this one, you can, both of them are AC or DC plugs. Right, what does or, it do? Uh, oh, what does it do? Right, right. Oh, What's the purpose? It, the purpose of that is to seal the bag. It welds the bag shut. Oh, so nice. It heat seals your, nice. your waste. So you have no odor, no smell, no gases, no bacteria. Okay. And you could toss that into a trash receptacle. And uh, can you, So can you do that at the end of your trip? Sure. Right. You don't do yeah. that in between uses, the, right? The bags won't break down for two to three weeks. So yeah, if it... If, I, what I do is have a garbage bag on the back of the truck with a liner in it, and I put all our trash, including this, in there with that. And at the end of your trip, you have your, your garbage. So I see you have three different models. Uh, what's the difference between two, all? Two models. This okay. is the same. Okay. This is just on the slide. So you can slide this out of a cabinet, use oh, it, and okay. slide it back in. This one here uh, is in, in the case version. You open the bottom of the case, you flip the legs down. The top of the case, which is this, comes off. You have your toilet. Uh, you plug it in. You go. You hit the button, and a bag will come out the bottom. A new bag will be formed. This one, you put a bag in it, and you manually 
pull this and compress and then the, the weld will go onto the plastic, a red light will come on tell you it's sealing, a green light will come on tell you it's done, it'll beep and you know you're done, you pull that back and, and your bag falls out. Wow. And uh, is there a website where we can get more information on this? Raponusa.com. Raponusa.com. W-R-A-P-P-O-N-U-S-A.com. Yes, sir. And your name? Jim. Jim? And they're made in Japan where they're very big on uh, toilet sanitation. Absolutely. And so we know, so my uh, viewers can know right away, what do these things go for? This one's five ninety five. This one's fifteen ninety five. Okay. I'm assuming because this is plastic, so the materials are a little bit cheaper yeah, to make. It's plastic, it's manual. Uh, this one's fully automatic with the sleeve that goes down. This is a little cheaper per flush when you figure uh, the film. Right. This one's a little bit more expensive. All right. Sounds good. Thank you for the information. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. Yes, sir. What you got here? So, Body Armor 4x4 is known for their steel products, so front bumpers, rear bumpers, step sliders, cargo management, bed racks tents and awnings, uh, not just for the Toyota application, but for the Ford Broncos, for the Jeep, uh, whether it's JK, JL, JT, and then obviously for the half ton and three quarter ton trucks. Okay, are you guys going to expand it to other type of vehicles as well? Or is, that, is that what you got now or is there more on the that's, line? That's what we have now. I mean, okay. if there's uh, there's other vehicles that we're always constantly looking at, um, but okay. it's got to make, uh, make sense at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. where are you guys based out of? Well, uh, home base is out of Ontario, California. Okay. But we have a uh, you know 13 other warehouses across the, the U.S. Oh wow! So uh, so it, it's I guess shipping shouldn't be a problem. Correct. Okay. Is there a website where people can get yeah, a little yeah, bit more info? Yeah, more than welcome to, to go on to uh, bodyarmor4x4.com. And here's a. The can you get that? Bro? There's a stick. Oh, there's in the back of the sticker. Yeah. yeah so there you go. Definitely put and that. And you're more than welcome to grab a couple of the the freebies. Gators, patches, koozies, and whatnot for yourself. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're uh, we make two versions of camping trailers, the Slack Lander and the Slack Wagon. The Slack Lander is really good at doing everything camping and off-road. The Slack Wagon can do camping and off-road, but then it can also serve as a great utility trailer. So okay. It's not a one-trick pony. It does a lot of things. We also sell massive skid plates and rock sliders for a Gen 3 Toyota Tacoma. And our new debuting at this show here at Overland Expo East, the hidden winch mount for that Tacoma. Nice. We also have a hidden winch mount, a front bumper option, rock sliders, and full belly skid place for a 100 series Land Cruiser. Are you guys going to be expanding as far as vehicles you are? Absolutely. We do yeah. have more vehicles in the pipeline. We're trying to get into Forerunners, Gen 2 Tacomas. Yeah. We legitimately, at events like this, everybody that asks, we get a list of what they want, what they want to see done. And we try to work towards that list. That's how the Gen 3 Tacoma got here on this timeline. Uh, tell me a little bit about this trailer. Is it aluminum? Is it steel? This is an all-steel construction trailer. As it sits right now, it's 1,600 pounds. It has a GDWR of 2,200 pounds. We run a timber and axleless suspension on all our trailers. This model is called the Slacklander. If you get a Slacklander, it's going to have electric brakes on the trailer. Safety is an important factor. You can get it with a 7-inch deep sink. Two burner stove, it holds 15 gallons of fresh water. When you run the sink, it drains up front, not on your feet. On all of our doors, we use cam lock seals. So when they close, they pull tight, keep the weather out. That's why this morning, as much as it rained last night and this morning, they're still dry inside. How's the suspension, is it independent? It uses the timber and axle suspension, it's independent, rides like butter. Nice. Around this side, you've got your pull out drawer for your refrigerator. Slides easy. Fill up your water right here. Like nothing. Then you got some small storage on the side. You can get it set up with a 270 awning, tent mounts. We do put lights in every storage compartment. If you want to put stuff on top, you sure can. We even give you tie downs for it. Nice. Comes with a full size spare with a matching rim, a removable tongue that we can get some storage space back and not bang your knee on it. You can also get it with a lock and roll hitch or a two inch ball. If you're going to go off road, Get the lock and roll hitch, it's definitely worth every penny of it. Ground on the other side, you can charge your battery externally. And we have some big storage compartments over there for those larger uh, checkbox items you've got. And you will notice as you look around, we do have real tow hooks rated at 11,000 pounds all the way around the trailer. When I say it's steel construction, it's, it's not steel. a toy. Yeah. I stand on it all the time, that's how I set that tent up. Big compartment here. And then underneath of it, you've got another large compartment bucket for scale fit a lot of stuff in here and then this storage compartment is a pass-through for those longer items like chairs and then should you ever need to get to your battery water tank or water pump 
It's just a rope pull away, you can get to everything. Nice. Is there a website that we can go on to get some more information? Absolutely. Hit bigslackoffroad.com. You can also see us on Facebook, Instagram, Big Slack Off Road. And we even have YouTube videos showing how tough these trailers really are. Sounds good. Thank you for the information. Thank you very much. How you doing? Good. How you this afternoon? Good. Can you tell me a little bit about your company here? Tough Stuff Overland. We're I'm a lar a very familiar with the brand. Yeah, a large tent company. Yeah. We build, uh, great awnings, great products, uh, solar lighting. Uh, we've got compressors. We build great tents uh, uh, as far as shower tents, uh, changing rooms, toilets, and a lot of accessories to go along with the, uh, the tents and the awnings we build. Yeah, so I'm very familiar with Tough Stuff and all the products. I'm not familiar with the... Uh, compressor there though that's that's new to me it is something that's new yeah, yeah. the compressor we came out with about 90 days ago it's okay. a 8.8 cfm at 40 psi 160 liters a minute uh 45 volt or 45 amp draw off the battery uh, they come with uh, the the air down lines uh quick snap pins on the hoses so very uh very fast and easy to work with then we've got promotions we're offering with some tire repair kits and some bleeder valves also Okay, and uh, what's something like that go for? Uh, at the show, the special is uh, 160 bucks. Nice. And what website can we go to to get some more information? Toughstuffoverland.com. Okay, and your name? I'm Jason. All right, Jason, good to meet you. I'm Jay. You got it. Have a good day. You too. We got a variety of like organization and quick release mounting products. So it was originally designed for the Outvan Sherpa panels, which has like a half inch diameter hole grid on it. So we got these quick release pins that pop in and out of half inch holes. We got loops, hooks, uh, flagpole brackets. We have some larger hooks out there. And we make molly panels that incorporate that half inch hole system. So this is universal, it can be mounted on any wall. And then with that, you can use our bin system. Uh, the bin system can also be used just on other companies' molly panels. That's not specific to ours. But these just give you a variety of different sizes. They clip right on. They work with panels that are 3 16 or 8 inch thick and they're nice. not gonna rattle around. They use a bungee around the bottom to put some downward pressure to make sure it doesn't come off. Nice. There's a divider system that goes into those bins. It locates in one of the five different positions so you can divide it up however you need to. And we make some specific to like hydro flask food jars if you wanna carry some coffee beans or something with you. Um, so we just got a whole variety of things. We make some cargo box brackets. It's so like this cargo box is held on using the quick release pins. Okay. Take a peek inside here. So you got the oh, yeah. cargo box bracket one at the top and bottom and the quick release pins we got standard pins and then we have locking pins that require a key to take off so like our flagpole bracket here which stays mounted on the outside of the vehicle we use one standard pin and then the top pins locking so that way nobody can walk off with it oh, nice. and then that's just a standard painter's pole and we make a starlink adapter it goes to the top threads onto the end of a painter's pole you can pop your starlink into it mount on the outside of your vehicle when you need to very nice so is there a website where we can go to get some more information? Yep, you just go to reebgear.com. It's Reeb, beer spelled backwards. Makes it easy to remember. Seat deletes. That's nice, look at that. The wood? Yeah, the whole setup, yeah, look at that. It's like all custom. It goes all the way in for the storage. Good, so I actually am a Devo's fan. I have the Devo's products for my setup. Awesome. Uh, but maybe you can give me a little bit more information for my uh, YouTube followers here. Absolutely. We'll do a quick demo so I can move on to help some of these other people. Yes, sir. So it's a 1200 lumen lantern. So with four panels, you get four hours of power. With two panels, you get eight hours of power. One panel, you get 16 hours of power. Um, and you can also dim down any of those modes right there. If you want to pan over here, you can see that it's up on a nine foot pole. It is. So. And you got the solar on it. And now down, down, down below has a sol the optional solar panel. Yes. It does, and I've used this so I can I can speak in behalf of Devos. It Thank works you. great. I don't I don't see the lenses. I know that you also have lenses. We do. We sold out of them already. You did. So we apologize. Okay. But uh, yeah, it comes with three lenses. It comes with a red and amber and a uh, soft white. Okay. And you just snap on the bottom. Sure the does. Color of the light. I actually literally just came back from a trip this week. And I uh, used it and used the lens and it, it works amazing. Awesome. Uh, it's good to hear it. Thank you. So what's the website for Devos? It's uh, devosoutdoor.com. Okay. We have a lot of cool accessories too that, that go with the light. Okay. You want, uh, you, uh, and, and a little bit more. I, I see there's a new product here. This is a solar panel. It actually snaps onto the light. Then you plug in your USB-C charge port from there to your USB-C port. It'll charge your light during the day. 
They're ready to go at night. And the quality of those solar panels are, are, are pretty upscale in my opinion. They are. They're flexible, durable. They can take an impact. We also have a new product that's an additional battery. And that's what I was referring to. That's that's new to me. That snaps on top. And you also plug in your USB-C port from there to the bottom. And that doubles the out, the life of your battery. Not the output, but doubles the life. Which is life. already a long life. Right. So it just makes it that much better. And so what? it goes from four hours on full to eight hours on full. And so what does that accessory go for? Because I have uh, everything but that. It's 50 at the show. Okay. I can't remember what the online price is. Okay. But it's definitely a discount here at the show. Okay. And that website, one more time? DevosOutdoor.com. So I'm a pet lover. Oh. Maybe you can give me some information on what we got here. Okay. So actually we sell a seat delete storage locking system for the back of the Gladiator, the Wrangler, and the Tacoma model. But because we designed it because our dog is always with us. Okay. So we have a Doberman and okay. we, have, we had the Wrangler first and he had wanted that flat space back there and he wasn't going to get his feet stuck in that trench. So when okay. we designed this, it eliminated that trench and then now we have our locking storage too. Okay. So it's... Uh, it completely sits on top of the seat folds, factory seat folds that were already there, so you can remove it when you want it out. It's all is there lighting right? throughout each opening? There is, okay. yeah. It's lighting throughout, it locks. Um, there's three locking compartments total, and then the middle section is driver accessible. So you can reach from the front and open up from your driver. And shock assist, because yeah. obviously turning around trying to open it would be a yes, little bit of a... Yeah. Absolutely. That's very nice. And, and is it specific to the Jeep? It is right now, if the Tacoma model comes out the first of the year. Okay, yeah. so you're expanding. Yes, we're expanding. Okay. But we started with what we had, which was the regular model. We okay. JK. So we designed it off of that. We tried to make it the most comfortable for our dog. Very nice. Is there a website where we can get more information? Yes, it is cargo dog, cargo dot dog. I'll give you our business card. Absolutely, let's go ahead and put it in there for me. Thank you. And we're on Instagram at cargo dot 2021. Okay. And Facebook is just cargo dot. Okay, thank you for the information. Thanks. Thanks. It is what you need. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen anyone yet.